I'm Prof. Indra Bishay. Let's look at how observation data can help interpret findings. When observation data is collected, the research can have various purposes. The purpose could be to describe the phenomenon or to infer something or to evaluate the phenomenon. If the purpose is to describe, then the study will be undertaken without thinking about any variables and in a natural setting. And the observation could be conducted directly or indirectly. If the purpose is to infer from data collected, then we go with operational variables in mind. And the settings are natural or could be controlled if we want to obtain higher internal validity on the results. We could again observe directly or indirectly the objects. The third is to evaluate. If the purpose is to evaluate, then the variables we are thinking about are the conceptual variables. The setting could be natural and control if we are looking for higher internal validity. The way of observation could be direct or indirect. So descriptive studies are undertaken to provide what's really happening so that uh, a future research problem could be uh, formulated. For example, if a staff member is typing keys hard on a keyboard um, and we observe that uh, in relation to the gender, men type it harder, we just describe. And that description can become a foundation for a research problem. For example, a research problem could arise. Why is it that men type harder than, than women at work settings or on keyboards? The second is the operational, and um, we make a latent judgment. We try to relate that. Uh, to something. So, for example, we take in the uh, staff members typing uh, keys on a uh, keys hard on keyboard, uh, and uh, show that it shows that the time spent on computers are negatively associated with productivity. Uh, that and is, uh, uh, the time spent. We try to infer on completing the observational the, as a, a observational variable. And then the other one is the uh, typing hard on keyboard, how, how frequently they type hard on keyboard. So both observation and data, we can uh, see whether there is uh, association, whether they're negatively associated. The third is the conceptual, where we make uh, a judgment uh, based on what we observe, but at a, at a later level. So staff typing uh, hard on keyboards uh, could be that it is because of a, a latent factor that uh, it's due to uh, staff stress. So when we conduct and collect observation data, we had to be mindful of validity, internal validity and external validity. Internal validity is how accurate 
at the data in relation to that setting where the data was collected. External validity is how valid would be the data, how representative would be the data in relation to other settings because these data have been used as raw material for interpretation. So if the data are representative, then our findings and interpretation and the findings could be representative to a more general setting. So if we take a control study and an uncontrolled study, a control study would have more internal validity. We control the setting, we identify the variables, uh, observational variables that we want to look at. In uncontrolled study, we don't, and uh, internal validity is greater in a control study than in an uncontrolled study. But in uncontrolled study, the external validity is, is much greater because um, the uh, uncontrolled uh, study would, would accommodate variables that are taking place in a natural setting. Direct research participation and no research participation is the other uh, dimension. When directly researcher take part in the study, uh, get involved in the phenomena, the internal validity could be uh, quite high because the, the researcher can see what's really happening. But on the other hand, uh, when the researcher does not take part in the study, there's distance between the data and the researcher, and therefore, a researcher will not bring the personal bias and errors uh, into, into the data. Um, that, that becomes less. So external validity increases when the researcher does not take part in, in the study directly, uh, whereas internal validity increases when the researcher directly take part in the study. If the observation is structured, what is that is predetermined, this is what we are going to look at, uh, then the internal validity is much greater uh, than unstructured observation. But in an unstructured observation, because we are observing everything that is possible in that setting, external validity uh, becomes greater because we got a more comprehensive set of data uh, which uh, we will be using for analysis. The fourth dimension is unconcealed studies versus concealed studies. In unconcealed uh, observation or a study that uh, the participants do not know that researcher conducts a study, uh, then the uh, internal validity could be uh, could be low because uh, because the the participants know that the researcher is on the site and and therefore the participants change their behavior. In a concealed study, the participants don't know that a researcher is, stu is studying the phenomena and therefore uh, internal validity could be much, uh, much uh, greater. Uh, and also the external validity uh, because uh, we can see in a natural setting what is really taking place. So when it comes to observation data collection method, we had to look at validity, but validity in two dimensions. One is the internal validity and external validity. The second aspect we had to look at is the reliability of data. What are the weaknesses of uh, observation data collection method is reliability of data. How are we going to replicate? How reliable are 
this data. To increase the reliability uh, when collecting observation data, we can have more than one researcher collecting data about the same phenomena. Uh, taking down notes is another way of, uh, of uh, showing that the phenomenon and the occurrences took place and tape recording if the participants allow it is another way of documenting the reliability. So on the other hand, if a, sing, if a single researcher is undertaking an observation study, then uh, there's no way uh, to question the data. data collection method.